Okay, two of your task sheets this week are on the HEUI fuel system. So I know we're covering common rail. We don't have enough weeks in the engine scores to cover everything, but I'll run through some HEUI things real quick just so you have an understanding of what you're doing with that task sheet. Now this is the DT-466E International, but it's the same fuel system as the uh, 7.3 Power Stroke or 444E as Navistar wants to call it. So we're gonna run through this fuel system really quick. So it's a little different, but some of it's the same. Our fuel will come in to the bottom section of our fuel filter here. It's kind of a pass through with a sediment bowl in the bottom. We still got our water drain, our water and fuel light in here. Uh, so coming through here, we've got a hand pump to prime it. So if we change the filter or the vehicle gets ran out of fuel, then we've got a hand primer here that you twist loose and just, it's a plunger pump. So it's pulling fuel out if we need to prime it and bringing it around to our lift pump here that's actually a plunger type and is bolted to the high pressure oil pump to operate it. But the fuel and the oil is kept separate here. So there's a little cam plunger here. It's pumping the fuel out into the top part of our fuel filter, which is where the el filter element is. So that's where our fuel filtering goes. The top and bottom of this filter are separate. There's not really a filter per se in the bottom. It's more just a water drain and uh, separator to be able to drain the water off. So it gets a little hard to see, but out of the middle of this filter, which has a spin on top here, the fuel travels through the intake manifold here and the intake manifold has a little fuel rail built into the top of it. So it runs the whole length, this wire's kind of in the way, but the whole length of the top of the manifold, you can see here we have a little port where we cook a pressure gauge and tell what our uh, low pressure fuel system is reading. It's got plugs here on the end if we had to drain it, but this runs the entire length of the intake manifold and it has runners that come out and supplies low pressure fuel to the injectors from our lift pump. So the fuel is at the injector, ready to be injected when the ECM decides to inject the fuel. Okay. So where this engine becomes a lot different is it's using engine oil to do the fuel injection. So we've got our normal oil pump at the bottom here that just lubricates the engine and supplies the high pressure oil pump. The high pressure oil pump back here is taking the feed from that. It's got an electronic spool valve in it where the ECM can control how much pressure it's putting out as far as the oil. But it pumps our oil. It takes about 695 PSI to start a HEUI system to fire the injectors on the oil pressure part of it. And it goes up to a max of 3000 PSI on the oil pressure and the computer controls that to rate and shape the injection, depending on load, temperature, all the emissions things. So it varies the oil pressure to control how much and how fine a mist is coming out of the injectors. So coming off our high pressure oil pump here, it would go up and the line's taken off it into the cylinder head pumping our high pressure oil. So it's kind of hard to see on this cutout, but the 7.3 is a little different, but on this 466, it has a oil rail, basically, this yellow here, that runs the entire length of the top of the cylinder head. And it sits directly over the top of all six injectors. So this oil rail has the oil pressure it's going to be used to do the fuel injection. Each one of these electrical connectors here is going to the ECM and that's what controls when and how much and how many pulses of fuel. So this just opens and closes a solenoid to control injection time 
Okay. The oil pressure controls the atomization, and the computer is also controlling the oil pressure coming out of that pump over there. Okay. On the 7.3, there's a oil passage that runs down each cylinder head. And one thing you have to remember, if you take this off or on the 7.3s, if you want to take the injectors out, since they don't have a removable oil rail for the high pressure, there will be plugs on the end of this. You have to take these plugs out if you're going to take injectors out because uh, oil that's in the rail will run down into the cylinder and hydrolock the engine. So you have to drain the oil out of the rail before you try to remove injectors on anything with HEUI injectors on them. So there's some Caterpillars that use this, Navistar uses it. So that's the two main players that use this fuel system. But there will be a drain plug to drain the rail. So follow your service manual and don't skip that or you'll lock the engine up and have to try to get all the oil out of the cylinders and it'll hydrolock when you try to crank it over and you can damage the engine. Okay, so in the injector itself, this is cut away here, but you have oil pressure in the top of the injector and fuel pressure in the bottom half of the injector. So inside that injector is what's called an intensifier or amplifier. Uh, amplifier is what CAT calls it, intensifier is what Navistar calls it. It's the same thing. So it is seven times... larger on the oil piston than it is the fuel piston that's below it. And of course, fuel is in the very bottom of the injector, oil is in the top of the injector. You've got all these seals to seal all that off. So when this solenoid is open, it allows that oil pressure to hit that piston. So if it's seven times bigger than the piston that's above the fuel, it's gonna get a seven times multiplication. So 3,000 PSI equals 21,000 PSI of fuel coming out the tip. So 3,000 pounds of oil pressure, since it's seven times multiplied, you'll get 21,000 injection pressure out the bottom of this. Okay, so once again, it's very important we don't run our vehicles out of fuel, that this has fuel in it all the time when it's running. Uh, and just remember that's a seven times intensifier there. When you replace an injector, a lot of injectors have a little copper seal on the bottom of this. Sometimes that stays on the injector. Occasionally it gets stuck in the cylinder head tube where the injector installs. So be sure that there is one of these on the injector when you pull it out. If there's not one on there, then it's still in the hole. You have to get that out. You'll have this double stacked which kind of messes up the installed height to the injector. Not that it's cam operated, but yeah, it does create some problems and harder for it to seal off. So this little copper washer here seals off the compression and the combustion gases to keep them from traveling up to get into our fuel system. So if that fails, we could have that coming up and entering our fuel system, damaging this O-ring, causing a leak. We could have fuel from this o-ring leak into the cylinder when it's not running so anyway lots of problems there so we talked a little bit about codes the 73 there's only two codes in it but number eight uses a different code it uses a i believe it's a uh, well anyway it's a, like an ae and a Number eight has a different injector. All one through seven have the same injector code. And uh, that's for anti-cackling. There was a noise thing. Ford tried to fix it by putting a modified injector in number eight's hole. But if you did have to enter codes on an injector, it would be a breakdown of the part number on the injector. So on the top of this injector, there's a part number. And you go to the service manual and it would tell you how to break that down to tell you what the code for that injector is. And then you go in and enter them. So just a quick overview, just remember that a 7.3 won't run right if it doesn't have oil. Uh, if you do an oil change, you don't fill the oil filter up. When you start it, it'll run for a few seconds and then die, and you may have to start it back up because of all the air and the oil gets into that secondary 
oil system. So <clears throat> that should pretty much give you an idea of kind of how the 7.3 and the 466E fuel system work.